Hey everyone, guess where we are today? Wild friends! We're gonna be hanging with the roosters. Come on back. Hi everyone, it's Jennifer and I'm here at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah. And I'm here with Brianna and she's one of the life-saving specialists here at Wild Friends. And she is feeding Timmy, and I'll let her tell you a little bit about the roosters we have here at Best Friends. So Timmy is one of four roosters we have here. They are all adoptable. Uh, Timmy, Timothy is his full proper name. Timothy. Uh, <laughs> Timmy came to us last year in 2019, um, and he was just kind of found wandering around in the camp. <laughs> so he's very, very sweet. We are definitely looking for like big ranches with lots of hens that he can look after. Um, but he also wants human companionship. He's a very sweet boy. Huh. What's he eating? Looks so he good. gets a salad of kale and parsley and cilantro and lettuce. Oh my. And, he, and his favorite um, are uh, corn kernels. So that's just... That's how Brianna and I eat all uh -huh. day. Oh, every day. We always get our vegetables. Oh, huh, good boy. All right, will you guys have fun? Thank you. Hey, you be a good boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have fun. I won't be too far if you need me. Okay, well, today we're going to go ahead, since Brianna left and I'm the only one in here, I'm going to go ahead and take this down. Since I'm by myself with Mr. Timothy, the rooster, you'll probably hear some of the other roosters in the back. Timothy's eating his breakfast, and he loves it. All right, so today, if you look at Timothy, you know how I always, when we teach art, we always look at the shapes of the different animals. And if you look at Timothy, he's got, he's got a little tiny head. He's got a beautiful big neck. He's got triangles down. If you look at shapes, triangles down for his legs, for his upper legs. And then his tail is beautiful. Roosters have the best tails. So his tail kind of goes up and over. So let's go ahead and practice sketching and then we'll go to the studio when we do our painting. So let's go ahead and start with, let's see here, I'm going to do it horizontally. Go ahead and let's do his head first. So head, make sure you leave enough room for the body. And remember, it's a pretty small head, so I would say maybe three fingers across, four if you have a small hand. And then they have, look at how beautiful their neck is. So that actually is in the shape of a teardrop. So let's do a big teardrop. Timothy's being good. All right, buddy, see? Small head, big teardrop for the neck. And then his body comes down pretty much into a big, oh, look at him fluff. Look at those feathers. So it comes down to a triangle. Let's go ahead, because their body's pretty big right here, let's go ahead and do a big circle. Okay. So we have a small oval. We have maybe five fingers for the teardrop. And then we have four or five fingers for this circle because the circle's got to be bigger than the oval. Okay. Oh, look. Looky who's here. <coughs> Timothy. Are you going to be painting with us today, buddy? Okay, so Timothy moved. He's helping me so good today. So, this is what we have so far. So we need to get his, see how his cool little legs here, they're kind of down in triangles. So let's go ahead 
and do a tiny little oval here with a with the triangle underneath it and then for the front leg let's go ahead and do a triangle here and we're not even gonna attach it yet that should take care of his legs and Timothy's tail's kind of short so we're give you we're gonna give you a bigger tail how's that does that sound good huh his friends like it so let's go ahead and for a tail let's go ahead and do a square or an oval or a, maybe a rectangle rectangle out with the circle up So rectangle, circle. And then here at the end, we're gonna do just a little bit of a triangle. Just a tiny bit of a triangle because their, their feathers in the back, they come up and around. Hi, he's so handsome, I love it. Hi, yeah. So, the other thing we want to get is on their head. I'm going to move you a little closer. On his head, we want to get this right here. And let's see, one, two, three. It looks like about four, four bumps. So let's go ahead and do that on top of the head. So it's bigger on the back, smaller on the front. So let's go ahead and do a couple more. One, two, three. And then this back is very big and comes down. Okay. And then underneath, we want to do like two. Let's do that. And I think that's probably as good a sketch as we're gonna get out here. You can see, look at, you see the other <laughs> rooster behind me. So before we leave though, I'm gonna take the camera around and show you guys some of the other roosters. Um, we have a lot of white with red, but we have one that's colored. It's got a little more color on him. He's got beautiful tails, so we'll show you the difference. And I'll give you a little tour of the different areas. So this guy right here, Timothy, he has a big area here, like a play area. And then if we turn the camera, hold on, he's got this area up here. And that's usually where they have the food. Um, they usually feed him and give him his water. And then back there, you see that? That's his bedroom area, and it has, um, it has kind of uh, light diffusing walls, and it has a lot of hay so he can lay down and be comfortable. So let's go ahead, and we will get up, and we will show you some of that stuff. So this is Timothy in his big area. This is his next door neighbor. Look at how beautiful he is. Look at how much longer his neck and chest is. He is a lot bigger. Yes. Okay, we're in Timothy's beautiful rooster suite. His play area. This is where he usually eats right here. And I showed you the bedroom. And then we have kind of this playroom in here. Today, because we were doing our sketching, they went ahead and moved his, his food dish in here. Look at that. Peas, corn, which seem to be the, most, the ones he liked the most. The organic greens and then a little bit of feed there. 
just want to get a picture of you, buddy. Come here. Oh, look at you. So handsome. So handsome. One more picture of this one with the amazing colors. My colors are not showing all that great. You are so handsome. Hi everyone, I am back in the art studio after leaving Timothy and the other roosters up at Wild Friends. And I have an outline of the rooster that we did when we were with Timothy. And I also have a little piece of canvas that I can transfer the picture onto because I can't, I don't wanna, I don't want to uh, paint this thin paper. So we can review one more time. So let's go ahead and review your painting as, or your drawing as we go. So you have a circle there for the head. And then right here, the top part I was calling the rooster crown is also called a comb. So let's go ahead and do a big comb here. If you haven't done it with us already. And then the waddles right here. There are those two red things that hang down. And then remember we did a drop, the shape of a drop. We did a circle here that overlapped this one. And then we did a triangle, I mean a rectangle as part of the tail and a circle because the tails are really wonderful on these roosters. So the, we want to do a circle, a big circle, and we also want to do a little bit of a triangle. So it looks a little chaotic, but it'll all come together. So the nice thing is that I went ahead and wrote down some of the body parts that we're going to be painting today. Um, for example, down here we did the triangles for the upper part of the leg. Those are called the hocks. Okay. And then the wing bow, which we'll go ahead and draw in right here. So go ahead and take your drawing and I want you to draw in a little bit darker. I want you to draw a, a wing shape, kind of just barely, it almost looks like a smile, but not a big smile. The other part that I loved is right here on the neck, they have what is called a cape. So bring those feathers down and then I want you to do like a feathery type end here. And then their chest actually comes out. So it goes right under those wattles. And their chest comes from here then, it comes down into those legs. So bring, round that out down into the legs. And then the other leg here. And then it hides under what's called a saddle. So the saddle in the back, they start here at the edge of the crown and about here at the beginning of the tail. Okay, so it's gonna kind of curve like this and then it's gonna feather out like this. So let's go ahead and just feather it all the way down and then it comes up. So that's called the saddle. And these here, you can put a couple little lines in here because this is the wing bow and the wing bay is the back part. Okay, let's see here. And then the tail. So the tail, we want to bring the saddle, or not the saddle feathers, the main tail feathers up. And they curve around like this. So let's do one, two, and then we'll do some other, just a little bit of feathery right there. And that's just for us to know how to put the paint. So these are the, the big feathers, which is the main tail, the greater 
sickles and the lesser sickles. And then their feet. Let's see how many toes they have. They should have three in the front and one in the back. If I'm seeing that correctly. So let's just bring the toes out. Good. All right, and then let's go ahead and look at the face real quick. How do we want to do the face? Let's go ahead and start with the eye. So let's bring the eye maybe in line with the waddles. So put the eye there and then bring that face down a little into the beak. Okay. And remember, you don't have to erase parts if we're not using them. And you can kind of outline a big part of the eye area. Good. And if you have an eraser or you want to erase anything, you can erase some of this circle if you think that's going to confuse you part of the head circle because we don't need that. Everything else seemed to be okay. So let's go ahead and pull our paints out. I have light blue and I have white for the feathers. And I also have red for the wattles and the comb. But I'm thinking I know we saw different ones. We saw the all white birds, and then we saw the birds with the really, um, he had beautiful like red and brown markings in the feathers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a darker blue, just a darker blue, and, whoops, sorry, a yellow and an orange. So if you guys wanna gather up those, gotta make them pretty. And I also think while we're learning, it would be great to have different colors. So let's go ahead and start with, go ahead and put a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange on your tray. Okay, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange. And then I would get a medium sized brush. Here's a couple different ones right here. Either one of these. I'm going to use the pointier one. So let's go ahead and I just dip my brush in. I'm going to have a little of the orange on the front because I, I want to make the chest a little bit darker because these wattles will cast a shadow. And then go ahead and just dip it in the yellow. And let's bring it back like that. Good. Looks like our kitty cat wanted to go outside. It's a nice day here in Kanab, Utah, which is nice because usually it's 100 degrees, but mm -hmm. it's been a little overcast because we're in monsoon season. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of red. So let's take that red and go ahead and do the waddles. And the crown, the comb. I like to call it a crown, it sounds fancier. Let's see here. Good, and you wanna see a little bit of yellow on the head. And then go ahead and around your eye, put a little bit of red too, because they have some red around their eye. And then the other waddle back here. Ideally, we wanna do one darker than the other. All right. 
So while that part's drying, let's go ahead and get some blues out. And if you have a little bit of green, we can use a little green too. Let's do blue, dark blue, light blue. We're just gonna have a really fancy, colorful rooster. And a green. There we go. So for this, let's go ahead and let's start with the light colors first. I think we should put a little bit of green in here. Maybe a little bit here. And you want the brush marks to kind of go the way the tail flows. And then go ahead and take a, the lighter color. You don't even need to clean your brush. And bring that down. Those fancy feathers are. We'll make them even prettier than the ones we saw, but don't tell Timothy and his friends. Good, and then grab the dark blue. And then just put a few little brush strokes in there. Perfect. Excellent. So now I want you to clean your brush out and let's go back to the yellow. Let's do the saddle yellow and actually mix a little orange with it. So I just mix those two together a little bit. So it's not quite orange and it's not quite yellow. And I pulled a little blue into it from touching the side, but the tail, but that's okay. And my pencil's smearing a little bit. So it's making my paint a little dark, but usually I'll just go back over it with a second coat if I feel the need to. Good, and then I want you to mix your orange and your yellow and your red together a little bit. Let's see what color you get with that. So I'm just gonna mix. When you mix, just mix a tiny bit on the side and do this middle part, the wing bow, because you bar barely see it in there. Good. You can even get a little bit of the straight red and bring that in if you want. And then let's go ahead and grab yellow and do the chest a yellow color. There we go. And since it kind of covered up the head a little bit, I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit of green and add a little bit of green just to show the crown feathers, how they come down, because they're really cool. And birds have a lot of different colors in their feathers. Okay, let's see that. Cute. So let's go ahead and grab either black paint or if you have a marker, we could also use a marker. It's up to you. I'll just use a little black paint. I'm first gonna use a little bit of the light blue and do the legs here and the feet. And I'll show you why. I didn't even use any white. This is a miracle. Usually I use white with everything even just to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the beak in a light blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the eye, okay? Then I'm gonna get my black out here. And I'm going to just 
either take this brush that I just cleaned out or an even tinier one. The good thing about this brush, it has a really tiny tip on it, so I think I'm just going to touch it as softly as I can and do a little bit of the black of the eye. And then a little bit of the beak. So I'll probably just, a lot of times I like to do that and then just kind of smudge it with my finger. And then down here on the feet, same thing. So this one's shaded a little. So I'll just put a little bit thin part of the black on that and a little bit on the inside of the leg and the inside of the toes. And then you can always go back. If I want to add a little more blue here, I can do that. And if I see anything on my canvas color or smudge that I don't like, I can go back with white and go over it. Another thing we can do for the background, if you don't want to do a full solid background, now I'm going to use my white. Go ahead and just squirt a little bit of white. And you can either use one of your colors or you can use a brown. If you have a brown, I do not use brown very often, so I have to shake it. This one is actually a little bit of a glittery brown. Oh, it's a copper. So go ahead and get that a little brown or a little bit of maybe red or yellow. And then if you have a bigger brush, go ahead and grab a bigger brush and use this one. So bigger brush like this. And then just put your brush half in the half in the brown or copper or whatever color you're using and half in the other color. And then come in and just add just parts so you don't have to do the whole thing you can just do a little bit of it to give a, a hint of a ground Good. add a little more white here like that and then if you want to, you can even add that to the sky. So roosters crow usually in the morning and the evening. So I'm going to go ahead and because I like this color, I'm going to go ahead and do kind of a yellowish. Could be sunset, could be sunrise, but I'm not going to put too much. There you go. Thank you for joining us with the rooster painting. Remember, if you can post it on Instagram or on our Facebook page, that would be great. And I will write down the hashtag right here. It's hashtag BF for best friends, family, fun. Especially if you're on Instagram and use this hashtag, we'll be able to see your pictures. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next week.